Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to learn great posts, tips, tricks, and techniques to make your Excel Dashboard shine. All right, today uh, we're going to show you an answer to the Friday Challenge. Uh, the Friday Challenge, um, and this is Don's response, what he had done is he took this data. So this was the challenge data where we had a user who said, I want to know how I can. Uh, take a look and see a multi-year graph by month with our data set. We've got Larry, Joe, Pete, Sam. They've got 2010, 11, 12, and 13. And uh, then they have various amount of months and data for each one of those months and each one of those years. Uh, so what uh, Don did is he did a great chart um, using slicers. So here you'll see some slicers. Um, he said, hey, you can pick just Joe. You can just pick the year 2010 and see the chart over here. You can also hold your control key down and see multiple data points. So let's say I just want to see 2011 for Joe and Pete. Let's add in Larry. And uh, you can take away people and add years. So just for Pete, we want to see the last three years. And uh, so just wanted to show you this quick technique. Um, it's a great way to uh, set up your data and uh, just wanted to show you how you insert those slicers and make it into a chart in Excel. All right, now you can only do this uh, slicers. I think we're introduced in Excel 2010. Uh, I am on 2013 here. And what you want to do is you first want to highlight your data and make it a data table. You do that by going up to your insert ribbon and you want to insert a table. Now it's going to pick this and we want to say yes, we have headers and now we have the data in a data table. Now, once we have that, what we can also do is we want to go and highlight the table and go up to the Insert menu. Then over on the far right, you're going to see Insert Slicer in the filters. And it's going to say, what types of slicers did you want to insert? Well, we wanted a person slicer and a year slicer. Click on OK, and it will put those in there uh, in your um, Excel worksheet and now you can see all the different years and now what happens is when you click on them you'll notice it is creating a filter for just what you want to see um, up in the data range so we've got Pete, Sam, and Larry and we've got two different years and so it is hiding and or um, unhiding the various rows now if we want to uh, clear these filters real quick if we come up and highlight our entire chart range and we want to insert our chart now so let's go up to insert ribbon we're just going to insert a column chart now when I insert the column chart you'll notice that uh, these really long bars here are the years it doesn't know that this is not a series so I'm just going to click on it and hit delete here's all of my um, different uh, uh, charts that we can get from Excel uh, with this data set now let's go ahead and, and move the slicers over to where we can see them a little better uh, and then we're going to pick them here. So if I pick Joe, you'll notice that my chart uh, just has Joe for all four years. If I also pick a year, there's Joe for just 2011. If I hold my control key down, I can, do, I can get Joe for 2012, 2013. We can add Pete into the mix. You can see my chart just keeps changing. So that's how you can quickly create a data set using slicers to filter your data and make it very dynamic quickly and easily. Uh, I wanted to thank Don for uh, submitting this answer to the Friday challenge and uh, uh, the next video will show you uh, some other solutions that you might want to use when tackling this type of data. Once again, uh, please also subscribe to my video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.